Hello everybody, how are you? We're heading into the northern part of Los Angeles and we're gonna take the time to do another video in our series that we've been doing all week on San Diego. Uh, so this one is gonna be the five worst doorknob stores in San Diego. You know, a good doorknob store is a joy. You've got the selection, you've got the delivery, speedy delivery, you've got the attentive sales staff that knows the inventory and follows through, this is so important, follows through on what they say they're going to do. So it, it pains me to have to list these five that don't meet the cut in San Diego. If you need a doorknob or doorknobs, I'd say go ahead and avoid this place. The first one is uh, Bugle Doorknobs. Now, Bugle Doorknobs, they make doorknobs and sell doorknobs that are basically bugle-shaped and make bugle sounds when you turn the doorknob. This wouldn't be so bad if you could turn it off, but it does it on every time you turn the doorknob. Da -da 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 -da! Right? And this can be a real problem if you've got uh, older people that are sleeping a lot, if you've got young babies that need to sleep a lot, if you yourself sleep a lot because you lost your job and you just can't bring yourself to interview with another company full of numbskulls. This will be difficult for the other people in the house because when they turn the door down, da -da 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 -da! And so you say, well, just turn it off. Turn it, have that cool bugle looking uh, doorknob and turn off the bugle sounds. Guys, you can't. That's the problem. They say it's part of their quote unquote branding. Well, all right, but that's a no for me on bugle doorknobs. Unpredictable, unpredictable doorknobs company uh, or store is very similar. This one is just uh, south of downtown. And when you go in, it's very difficult to predict how they are going to receive you because uh, they hire only the same uh, family. And as everybody that's been in a family knows, you know, all the people are different. Some are upbeat, some are, you know, basically morose. So sometimes you'll get the uh, older brother that's like, hey, how you doing? Come on in, unpredictable doorknobs. We've got a wide selection and we're ready to serve you. And other times you come in and you get the little sister who's just now got over her goth, goth music phase. She's all in black. She's got makeup that looks like it's been running all night because she's been crying. And she says, what do you want? <laughs> You're like, well, uh, kind of was a lot of, look at some doorknobs. And she's like, um, we're closed. And it's 1030 in the morning. So because they're so unpredictable, guys, that's going to be a, that's going to be a no for me. Now, Conceit Doorknob Store, wow, these guys are good, but they think they are the best doorknob store in, in Southern California. When you go in this Kinsey, it's just right, it's right there uh, near Pacific Beach. You go in and they're like, you have been to the rest. Now you're with the best. And you're like, uh, hey, how you doing? They go, uh, we're doing great. Okay. Because we're always doing great. And you're like, all right. Uh, hey, I need some doorknobs. Of course you need some doorknobs. That's why we're here. And you say, I've been looking around at other doorknob stores that are like other uh, other doorknob stores. There's no other doorknob stores, there's only us. We are the single source of doorknobs in the world. And we are the best. Uh, okay. And you go round and around with these guys and you've been there 20 minutes, you realize you haven't even looked at one doorknob you're looking to purchase. I'm gonna say that's a, that's a no-go. Now, cosmetic doorknobs is interesting because they've come up with this technique where they put makeup on doorknobs. And this is specifically for women or other people interested in makeup. 
And what you do is you put your face on the doorknob and rub your face. The problem is that this would be convenient if you could just rub your face on the doorknob for a touch-up or whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you can tell I don't know what I'm talking about, a touch-up. Uh, whatever you do with makeup, maybe you need a refresh or a <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, so you just put your face on the doorknob. The problem is there's been injuries reported from people opening the door right into somebody's face. And then you need more makeup to cover up the bruise. Uh, guys, I, I, I'm going to just, uh, that's an auto no. Auto no. So just, just yeah, forget it. Forget it. And then finally, there's pig pen doorknobs. Now, this is really funny because pig pen doorknobs, if you have a messy room that you don't want somebody to come in, then you need a pig pen doorknob because you live in a pig pen. Pig pen. You are pig pen. And what's interesting about their doorknobs, they they don't turn. They just lock. And you can never... <laughs> you can, once you turn them once, you, you can't uh, open the door. <laughs> so, so you have to set fire to the room uh, and burn it down. That's the only plan. That's the only, and so therefore all this junk that you've refused to clean up for the last 10 years just gets burned into ashes and then all you have to do is sweep up the ashes and start over. So that's the, <laughs> that's a different way of approaching it, but hey, uh, they've had some satisfied customers. It's a look on their Yelp page. Uh, big pen doorknobs. But, you know, to me, it's just too much trouble. I'm not that big of a pig pen, so it's a no for me. But for you, hey, if you're a, if you're a live, living in a pigsty and it stinks like to heaven, stinks like a pig pen, give it a try. Guys, those are the five worst doorknob stores in San Diego. I'm going to avoid them. I suggest you do, too. As always, we'll take your suggestions on others we should have included. And I appreciate it.